Taco Means, everyone. All Taco right, Means. Taco Means, Trump Taco Means. 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 Taco Means.
I was like, yeah, I thought this is right? He's dyslexic, come on, please. <laughs> Hey, here's another example of the Navajo tradition, right? Remember the grandmother and the grandson are out herding sheep? And then the grandmother farts in front of her grandson. What did she tell him? And what is the first thing the grandson says? Oh man, she's throw up on his hands. They're honest. Oh, wait, we found this out. Um, we did a show not too far from here. Um, in Red Lake, you know, totally up there, and we're talking to you little guys, kindergartners, first graders. Yeah. We're up here, we're, you know, we're doing our thing, you know, hey, you guys, stay away from alcohol, stay away from drugs, don't chew tobacco. Little oh. girl. She raised her hand, she's on yeah. like, my mom, she chews skull. Boom, yeah. <laughs> man, and she kept saying it. Man. I don't know, yeah. like that, yeah. <laughs> my mom, she chews skull. Yeah. I'm like, okay, okay, sit down, sit down. And my mom, she oh, chews yeah. skull. <laughs> Man, she threw us off, man. Her no. mom, she just stole. Her arm got tired. What did she do? <laughs> My mom, she just stole over and over, man. Finally, I was all like, shh. Put your hand out. If you put your hand out, I'll buy your mom a can of school. I'll give you So watch out, man. These kids, they know what's going on. The school officials, they know everything that's going on in your house school. Because so, kids are honestly, man. Yeah, because, you know, I experienced that on Black Friday. Everybody knows who, what Black Friday is, right? Yeah, yeah. It's, the, it's the biggest national woman's holiday there yeah. is. It's the only time you ladies are up at 3 a.m., makeup on, lipstick on, ready to go, stretching out like you're going into the UFC cage. But if you ask them to take you to work that early in the morning, yeah, the shame to have man. Hair dry, hair, makeup all smeared, number 11 on their forehead, like this. Just grouchy, yo, man. You got thumbs hitchhike. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, and the woman always, the most sacred thing that a woman can possess is her purse. That's right. That man. purse, that's her BFF. You know, it's also a weapon. That's what it is. Never, never, a woman, or, their, their purse is awesome, man. It's too awesome. I'm scared of a woman's purse yeah. ever since I was a little kid. Because one time my mom goes, hey, go in my purse and get my wallet. I was like, no, I don't want to. <laughs> Last time I did that, I was missing for three days. Because <laughs> there's all kinds of stuff yeah. in there. You get lost in yeah, there. Yeah, you'll get lost in there. It, it's always exciting to watch a woman walk outside of Walmart with a purse. Yeah. Man. And she's multitasking, right? She's got oh, yeah. a cell phone like this, a baby on one hip. <laughs> Pushing her res cart. Pushing the res cart. You know the res cart that wheels go. Sh 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 I think all those Walmart employees especially pick those carts just for us Navos. <laughs> Even brand new, they're like that. Oh, we pull one out on us, see the wheel on one side, and we teeth the other. I hate that, man. And then, uh, and then to make it even worse, there's always a bunch of hair yeah. wrapped around that one. You know, you know that native hair is just yeah. long enough, it just gets all tangled up there. Us men, we want to clean it out, right? Don't touch it. Men, stay away from it. Yeah. Because you know, man, your lady will find that hair on you and she'll like grade it oh, too, right? Yeah, Pull it off me. Whose hair is this? Boom, oh, man. Yes. Jealousy it just pops right out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> She'll see inside it, man. Is she from Montezuma Creek? Who is she? She'll take that hair to IHS, man, to the lab and drop it off at the lab. Here. Oh, no, she's cute, Arnie. <laughs> so we gotta be careful, you know. Uncle, she's son, everyone with Yae Aja. And I live in Farmington there, right? And this last time, this went to Black Friday, this is the first time I've ever seen white people ever act like Navajos. Yeah. They were parking in the dirt lot between Walmart yeah. and Target like it was a Yabe Cheek ground, right? It looked like right out here. Yeah. Cars parked all ways. Man, I turned to my son and I was like, Michelle, they have finally adapted to our way of life. They have been assimilated. <laughs> And you know my son, he's a big Pirates of the Caribbean fan. That's right. He loves everything about Pirates of the Caribbean, man. He loves yeah. the boots, he loves the belt, he loves everything about it. That's right. So he always wants to go to the toy aisle. Huh? She doesn't know how to check out. <laughs> oh, check out the toy aisle, check out the toy aisle. So I did my in the dad move. I don't care, I'm in Walmart, right? I'll blend in with everybody. Ah, then then, go check it out, get out of here. Like, he's like, hey, what the heck? That's our love. Yeah. Go ahead. 
That's our love tap right there. That means we love you, right? As parents, that's our love to our kids right and there. And again, we're not worried about our kid getting lost, you know? Because, you know, no kid will be, you know, they don't get lost. But I, I do hope they're not still putting kids' faces on the deck of milk cartons. No. Because that method never works for Native America. We are lactose intolerant. <laughs> we don't even drink milk, you know what I mean? You want to find our lost Indian kids? Put them on a casino chip. <laughs> we'll find them real fast. Be like, check out, Curtis is lost. <laughs> I saw my fashion yesterday. <laughs> anyway, put this on red. <laughs> Forget finding Bigfoot, right? Find our red kids. <laughs> they, they should come up with a new show. Yeah. Find, find the red kids. <laughs> yeah. Find the red kids, right? Because little red kids, kids when they cry, right? They sound like Bigfoot, right? <laughs> they speak in the... I know, man. And as Indians, we always act like Bigfoot, right? Yeah. Just watch us walk away from an argument, man. This is the we do what Bigfoot does. <laughs> walk away like that famous footage. That famous footage of Bigfoot. So you're in Walmart, your son goes off. Your son, yeah, 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 yeah. And I started putting in all the Indian essentials into my cart. You know what that is? We all know what that That's is. Right. What's the first thing that pops into your mind as you shop in the Walmart aisle? Boy, the the right now, think about it. Bunsen kid. Packer Jacks. Spam. Soda. Vienna sausage. Corned beef. Edward flour. Everything that's on the diabetes do not touch list <laughs> is in his cart. It's in your cart. Go to the hot. No, no, no. I'm going to check it out. 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 I'm almost at my limit, Jens. Oh man, I think I can get two more ounces right here. Nah, 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 hey. W-I-C, we ingest calories. <laughs> Wild Indian Cowboy, W-I-C. That's Joe Tahani, he's on stage now. <laughs> so, you know, and that, all of a sudden I was caught dead in my tracks, right? Yeah, because he heard this. Dad! Dad! I want to end it that. Here's that yeah. at Walmart. All the end it that's turn around. Huh? Is that mine? Oh, it's child support this month. His son was coming running down the aisle right at him. Man, just like, you know these kids, man, they're fast, right? For him, it turned into like a movie, man. It's it slowed down to slow motion. It was like, Dad. It was all dramatic. It was like a Jean Claude Van Damme movie, like Bloodsport. <laughs> he slid right underneath me. I found the eye patch holding something in his hand. It was not. An eye patch no. that he had found, ladies and gentlemen. And at first it could not, it was a UFO, it could not be identified. <laughs> what the heck is he holding? This thing, he's on tippy toes, holding it up. Tippy toes like this, right? Here was a woman's thumb, oh, somebody no. found at Walmart. Oh no. I found it, no, I found it, no. And I call him the other kid and I sneer all these fans. Here I am, my son showing this to me. I call, I call it Chia. <laughs> Last time I saw something that was red, I shot baloney. He gave a string. He had a lot of And the attention. I call Chia King up there. This, this was a big baloney. Yeah. That was baloney top. He was, he was on his tippy toes like this. I found it. I found it. Oh. Man, I was just like stuck, you know, and you have those moments where you're just like stuck in time. I was like, huh? <laughs> <laughs> He's looking at like a Rez doll. Hey, child, I'm thinking like this. Finally dawned on me, I was like, OMG, you got to me. Started stuffing it into my pocket, yeah, man. Man, it must have belonged to a big Indian girl, y'all, because I was one forever. Go wash your hands! Pretty soon I felt like I had a bunch of pinions in my pockets. Man, I should go not stuff it. We're gonna have a blessing way for you tomorrow. 
Those are awkward moments, man. You know, they always happen at Walmart, awkward moments. It's like a breeding ground for awkward moments, for embarrassing moments. You know, some of us have to... When I go to Walmart, I try not to use the restroom, public restroom. Because you've been there, right? Every time you go in there, the door is always locked. It's broken, right? It just spins around. So you got to be your own lock. And you hear someone coming in, you're like... Hmm. We got to let them know that we're in there, right? Uh, some of you are traditional, so you're like, I hope. <laughs> well, maybe we'll stick our foot at the bottom and wave at them. Hello. <laughs> Occupied. <laughs> a cousin. <laughs> but we are so rezzed. We're so jammed up. We'll still try to get in. <laughs> Be like, hey, I'm in here. <laughs> I'm in here. <laughs> oh, man. It's always embarrassing too yeah. when you walk in on somebody. I know, man. Now there's a very how many have walked into the wrong restroom? Go ahead, this is not AA meeting, we're being cool. It's, it's alright, you know, you can raise your head we're all healing. Put the elbow cars all That's the number one awkward moment walking into the wrong restroom. Yeah. And I, I actually did this not on uh, I, I did it in my own restroom. <laughs> When I go to the mist, <laughs> when I go to the mist, right, I head straight for that big stall. It's got plenty of room, you know. I can take out my jacket if I want to, you know. It's got that bar, right? It's the only time I feel like a PBR bull right now. Makes you feel yeah. special. I just settle down and I'm outside, boys. <laughs> so you know, again, locks didn't work. I went right in there, man. Walked in there, and somebody was already sitting in there. <laughs> And I, I didn't just open the door, I was in there with him. <laughs> I made eye contact. I was like, oh, I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. He was a soldier, an army guy, man. And I was like, ah, oh, shit, uh, since I'm in here, thank you for your, for your services. <laughs> don't get up, don't get up. Yeah, don't get up, don't get up, don't get up. Oh, uh, you know what? Oh. I'm going to share this one uh, last story about an embarrassing moment. It happened because of this. Yeah, smartphones. My Indian phone. It's called iPhone, but I, I don't know what the I stands for in the phone, so I call it Indian phone. <laughs> this thing is misleading. It'll make you text stuff that you don't want to. Oh, yeah. You have to be careful because on these phones, they're so smart, they have a thing called auto spell. Yeah. And if you misspell a word, it'll spell it right for you. In fact, it tries to guess what you're trying to say, yeah. and it'll send its own message. I sent my wife a message, she called me right back. You know, I text her, and all of a sudden, it was her. She's like, what, you need a divorce? <laughs> huh? What? No, I said, feed my horse. What the? <laughs> Dumb smartphone. <laughs> This is also good for for your profile pictures of yourself on Facebook, right? Yeah. All in the bathroom in front of the mirror. <laughs> <laughs> then you try to make yourself look skinnier, so you take the picture from the top. Yeah. <laughs> Some of you want to look chubbier, so you take it from the bottom. <laughs> Get all the rolls and we. <laughs> and you know we did a show in Reno, Nevada, but in mid-flight. Man, I drank too much coffee because shit, 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 when they snow, you know, yeah. in the air. So I want your coffee to clean on what you do, yeah. Man, when I got off, man, I was doing the leash dance. Have you ever done the leash dance? Man, man. Yeah. Oh, it's, 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 it's like a modified, it's modified rain dance. You know, yeah. it's and you know, I, I was trying to text my wife at the same time, you know, oh, she was, yeah, man. And when number one wants to come out, number two wants to yeah. come out too, yeah. So number two, two oh, what's up? Gosh, I'm like, oh, like this, yeah. Number two is right there. Hey, Shishan. <laughs> what about me? I want to come out too. I call Chad Texas. In the house. <laughs> so he's doing some kind of Zumba insanity <laughs> move, you know? I call outside the res, I look like a Chinese guy to everybody else, yeah. right? So we landed in Reno, Nevada, Hanashi tourist station. You know, over there. Look at that Chinese guy. He's playing with his iPhone. Shit, that no Hanashi was And I'm trying to follow Ernie into the bathroom. Right? And and I, I, I did. That's where I went. I went to the men's room. <laughs> he distracted. Went to the other men's room. Had W O in front of the woman. Man, 
I went. I didn't just go in there and say, "Oops, man!" I went right in there. He was shoot number one. He went in like he was a member. Yeah, I went in there, yeah. busted that door open, and I said, "You need me, bitch, man!" I sat down, man, like I owned it. <laughs> no, told me none of y'all have never done this. Yeah, I sat on the bowl and continued texting. That was me. And and why is it every time you sit down to do your business, it just gets dead silent? At first, you know, people are making noise, hand dryers going off, water, toilets being flushed. You sit down, silence. Then you gotta wait for someone to make noise, you know. Come on! And you try to make that bubble flush, you know, it's not working. Make some noise. I caught the sit when they're in there, right? Usually I hear my partner unleashing his beast. Hey, 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 hey. I then don't want these. Too much info. Down, man. <laughs> What I did hear was like, high heels makes a very distinct noise when it hits concrete. Woman's high heels. It sounds like a tribal official on horseback during the parade. Could you get on? All right, I could hear the door on. Yeah. High heels, yay. I started questioning myself. Asha and me, am I in the right bathroom? So, because I was already in my thinking position already, right? It finally dawned on me, I was like, shut it in there. <laughs> Only in Reno, Nevada do you guys wear stuff like that. Oh man. These are awkward moments, man. It's, um, it's good to hear you guys laugh, because that's what we're all about. We're about healing. You know, they say laughter is healing. And for one woman, she meant it literally. Remember that lady at Gallup? Yeah. So I did a show in Gallup, and then the next day I was at Sizzler. I was eating, I was at the, I was at the uh, salad bar, right? Just holding an empty plate. Don't ask me what I was doing at the salad bar, okay? I was just checking it out. <laughs> Lady walks up to me, hey, Ernie, what's your show last night? I gotta tell you this story. Man, a good show, you guys, put a good show. Anyway, for two years before your show, I had a headache and an arm ache every day. Headache, arm ache. Last night at your show, I laughed so hard, I coughed up a blood clot. <laughs> I know, I was all like, thank you, I'm not hungry anymore. <laughs> But she went on to say, headache, arm ache, gone. You guys healed me. That's what she told me. Count James. And I was like, oh, it wasn't us that healed her, right? That's the laughter. Yeah. The laughter healed her, man. And uh, another lady, they used to show her video in Shiprock Hospital. Patient rooms, waiting rooms, James and Ernie Comedy complaining. One lady goes, sure, I'm watching you guys' video in the hospital in Shiprock. I was watching it, I went into labor. <laughs> I know, don't tell you anything, man. <laughs> And she's like, I wasn't even pregnant. You guys are really good, man. Good job. <laughs> so, uh, the guys are laughing. Yeah, La laughter is always good, you know, because you know, the end of the world already came and went. Came right? and went. You all, you all survived. Congratulations. Yeah. You, guys, you guys are officially in heaven. <laughs> <laughs> but everybody was, was worried about this whole thing, right? End of the world. Yeah. Man, what are we going to do? End of the world. How you hear it on the news? End of the world, end of the world, oh my yeah. gosh, oh my gosh, what are we gonna do? End of the world. <laughs> man, we were never worried about it as Native America, right? No way, man. We were on end of time. The rest of the world would have been gone, we still would have been here. <laughs> what cracks me up is, um, yeah, man, that's all this. Is these doomsday preppers, have you seen these guys? Yeah. Like they're fighting like, like bunkers, underground bunkers, you know? They have like a Sands Club. Yeah, man, they, they're, they're stocking it, you know, with. With everything, man, what's our bunker as natives? We'll just head down to, you know, 7 Eleven, just kick back in there and wait, you know? <laughs> oh, insane. man. And, you know, it never fails to, you know, that we always gotta have a smile on our face and laughter in our heart, no matter what's going on in your life. Even if their creditors are calling you right now for their truck payment, I dare you to <laughs> laugh the next time they call you. Just laugh at them. Laugh in their face, man. When they, when they call you to say the truck payment is late, do this. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to be late next month, too. <laughs> it's all right, man. Everything's going to be all right. We have laughter. And uh, right now, I want to take a moment and just go ahead and rub your cheeks. I know uh, you guys yeah. have been laughing all the time. Massage those cheeks. Not those cheeks. Not those cheeks. John, he's over here on this side, he's over here. 
man, that's great, man. Like, we're getting ready to go to the University of Tennessee in Knoxville. So uh, we got that coming up in a couple of weeks. Yeah, that's right. And uh, we're going to Miami, Florida. Yeah. We actually um, were in uh, Edmonton. We're in Canada. Uh, it was freezing in Canada. Yeah, you, you guys you, think out here is cold. Yeah, you go out here, right? You see your breath, Canada? You see your spirit of Christmas just comes <laughs> around. Man. And it's freezing, too. <laughs> Yeah, and every native tribe we visit, it's all the same. We all talk about you in front of you, behind your back. That's right. Gossiping. We are the best. Yeah. We will backstab your front. <laughs> we will start talking about you before you leave the room. Yeah. The only thing we'll give you is a hand. And this one, this you eight jet, that's them over there on that side. We'll use the fingers as people. They touch us in the beat, in the net. You get confident as judge. Oh. We'll push it even further. Yeah. We'll use our hip. Have you seen the hip on this one there over there on that side? Do you see them? There's a good guy. Hey, Jay. Some of them make it look sexy, right? Oh, see what that yeah. And there's you over there. Some are really blunt about it. Look at them. They're over there on that side. Yeah. Not them over there, but them over there. You'll see that man at Aces Wild, you know, State Nine. Looks like they're dancing. They're talking about you, man. <laughs> That's when you know you're getting talked about. Oh, yeah, and we'll keep following you too. Go ahead, cut. They're going around behind me over there on that side. They're going, they're going on the bus, look at them. They're over there at the view, look at them. And some of us don't want to be sly, huh? We'll be like, where are you pointing at? <laughs> some of us don't know how to get away with nothing, right? We'll be like, hey, whatever you do, don't look over there. You'll be like, where? These guys? <laughs> Just oh. give me away, man. Yeah, but in the 10 years uh, as James Ernie Comedy, we, we always promote being so sober yeah. and drug free and uh, sugar free and salt free. And, uh, we, yeah. had to, uh, we gave it up, man. We had to give up alcohol because I was one of those drinkers that could not handle my alcohol. Oh, yeah. Me I too. would turn into an entire different character. You know, sometimes I was all standing at the bar, gallop, you know. I was partying with my little friend. His name was Boo Boo. And Boo Boo would be like, Ernie, I am ripped, man. <laughs> and I was like, Yogi Bear, hey, Boo Boo, that's okay. I should take care of you. We should go home for some of For me, I sounded like Chewbacca, making no sense whatsoever, man. Just point. <laughs> Sometimes, man, I was Shaggy from Scooby Doo. Just all mellow. Like Zoinks, man, I mean, you know. <laughs> oh yeah, but I've been sober for 17 years and Ernie's been sober for 11 years. That's right, man. It's so awesome. It's been awesome. Yeah, it's great to remember yesterday. Yeah. It's good not to wiggle with a hangover. I know That's you. Right. I know that you guys think I was really drinking in a movie called Mount Plus 398. <laughs> Everybody thought that was real. Somebody actually pointed me out. I hey, there's Marty. She don't. <laughs> To this day, I still get called a Ray. Yeah. This one guy too, I don't he won't let it go, man. He was like, hey, hey, Ray, what's up? <laughs> and for the last spot, last since the movie came out, you're like a Ray. <laughs> to one guy. <laughs> anyway, my name's Ernie. Uh, okay, Ray, we'll see you later. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know that or James and Ernie, both of us. <laughs> I'll be again like, there goes James and Ernie. <laughs> Am I sad? And you know us, right? Yeah. We have no, we don't know about personal boundaries. Yes, sir. If I ask James and Ernie, about to touch my eyeball. <laughs> oh man, but we're gonna continue uh, doing our, our uh, this uh, this res, this Navajo res that we represented. We represented well. Like I said, we're going to uh, we've been to Cherokee, we've been to Edmonton, we've been to all these different places, yeah. and we've been blessed. And we always give the Lord. All the praise and glory for Amen. what he has done in our lives. Because without Amen. the Lord in our lives, we would have never been there. We actually took, um, the pastor talking about 49 last family, we actually took that on the road up in North Dakota. We drove up there, man. Yeah. It was our first, our first big trip off of the Mar area. And uh, our first stop was in Rapid City, South Dakota. We're hungry, we want something to eat, right? So, hey, time so stop in Rapid. Let's go visit our Sioux brothers and sisters in Rapid City. Let's go have a meal with them. Yeah. Like, who is good? Where do they eat? I was like, I know where. They eat at Buffalo Wild Wings. Because yeah. they like buffaloes and they're wild, yeah. Sioux people, they're wild. Let's go over there. 
So five of us, man, Navajos, man, we walk into it. We just walk in like we own the place, man. We bust, bust in there like, hey, what's up? Jesus just stops. And looking back at us, kind of like you guys, like the IHS waiting room, was not Sioux brothers and sisters. It was just farmers, ranchers, and cowboys. I panicked, man. I went old school. Oh. <laughs> Me and my brothers were like a table to share some buffalo wild wings. That poor little white girl's like, uh, okay, follow me. <laughs> Sometimes your native just pops out. Yeah, You're not even ready for it. Not ready. You know? and, and, and you try to be all, 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 all prim and proper too. Yeah. It just pops out. <laughs> One time we were up there too, this lady, Sue lady, man. I just heard the call right here this, earlier. We were all sitting, all of a sudden she goes, la, 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 la. I was like, freak out. Sometimes your native just pops out. Man. It's unstoppable. It's undeniable. But, uh, we we have our uh, we have our Facebook. If you guys want to poke us and like us on Facebook, <laughs> hey, <laughs> that's the only place you can say it. And I'll poke me and I'll like it. Man. <laughs> so we got our DVDs for sale. If you guys want to have our DVDs, Ernie that's got right. his DVD for I sale got, as well. Brand new DVD is called um, it's called The Talking Means by No Means Necessary. <laughs> uh, anyway. Um, it's called Awkward Moments, <laughs> and I wanted to give this to one of these little ones here. Just one. Just started a wrestling match. Oh, no. <laughs> it's alright. It's alright. Let her have it. Let her have it. Man, she's just hanging on there for dear life, man. That, that was a mistake. <laughs> I just had a flashback when we started that riot. Remember that? A little elementary riot. <laughs> But yeah, we're, we're gonna. Uh, we're also on the website at jamesandernie.com. We have the, all the DVDs for sale. We even got Mom Post 398 for sale. So uh, if you guys are uh, here, no checks. We know how any checks go, so don't even try it. Yeah. But uh, we're gonna continue to do this and uh, check check all our uh, all our updates on Facebook and uh, the website at jamesandernie.com. Not only that, but 49 laughscomedycom right. 49 Laughs will be in Shiprock in February. So if you guys are looking for a show in February for uh, Shiprock area. And also back in the Farmington area for uh, 49 laughs. Yeah, and, so, we wanted, and wanted to also just put out there, um, AG and I are part of this new this new concept that's called the SPAN Tour. It's related to Native Health and Fitness. SPAN being staying physically active and motivated. So those of you who are spanners, go visit the www.spantour.com and, and join on join on the cause, man. Those of you who want to get in shape and... And uh, you know, because it's New Year's, oh, yeah. we're always doing a New Year's resolution. Yeah, like, all right, I said I want to lose weight this time. I know I said it last year, but this time I'm serious. <laughs> and by, by the way, where'd you spend New Year's at? I, I spent it right at home, man. I you you live in Farmington, right? Yeah, I live in Farmington. Yeah, I, I live in Wonder Rock. And my New Year's was rezzed, man. You know, there's, a, there's about five different countdowns, right, in a little community. Because everyone's clock is set up to a different time, right? <laughs> so about five minutes before mine, or right, Happy New Year, Happy New Year! Not yet! <laughs> Five more minutes! Then there's my Happy New Year! Happy New Year! Someone over there, not yet! Five more minutes! <laughs> but we're shy, though. Yeah. You go to the city, or everyone's in the streets, right? Happy New Year! They're pointing at you, Happy New Year! <laughs> I'm a res, man. Happy New Year! <laughs> <laughs> we're shy, Happy New Year! Happy New Year, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. And you gotta be careful, man, because in a city, man, people fire guns. <laughs> you know, you gotta stay stay indoors, man. I woke up in the morning, arrows everywhere, all over, man. But <laughs> 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 well, we we're gonna bring back up the world's indigenous man. Yeah, the world's most indigenous uh, MC, <laughs> Mr. Pax Harvey. If he had a commercial, it would go like this. He once cured a sick medicine man. When a coyote crosses his path, they pull out their pollen. He once went into a sweat lodge and didn't sweat. One strand of his hair is more sacred than a whole eagle. He is the world's most indigenous man. Pax Harvey, everyone. Pax Harvey. Pax Harvey.
Hey, one more time for JD, ladies and gentlemen. Come on. Woo! These guys are awesome. They paved the way and they're going in native country out.